to record this short message for you. So welcome to April and um, I think this month started a little bit strange for a lot of people. It seems like the weather is playing up a little bit and spring is on hold and especially here in UK. So we had this kind of the mix of temperatures up and down, up and down, which affected people health. And it seems like our immune system is not necessarily the best. After years or quite a long time of being in lockdown, we somehow probably lost a little bit of our normal immunity and um, and it's just a lot of people are suffering from different, not only from COVID, but also from colds, like my husband and my daughter before, they didn't have COVID, but they actually have a quite nasty cold. And it seems like it is running a lot. And we forgetting, I guess, to a certain extent that we are not yet over um, the pandemic as such, although the government may say, yeah, that's that's all done but it's affecting service industry where people, you know, um, there is a lot of people coming in and um, and of course you are exposed quite a lot to um, a lot of people and therefore that um, toxic load of various um, viruses, to be honest, it is quite high and probability is quite high. So service industry is definitely affected. So we all need a little bit more kindness and compassion. And I know it's difficult because it's a Easter break here in the UK. It's a half term. People travel. People want to travel. And actually, I'm going away on the 10th of April. And I'm just keeping fingers crossed that it's going to be fine. Um, but yeah, so for to this week, I want definitely to help you with um, just to leave a bit of the word of um courage, encouragement, I guess, and basically, again, looking after yourself, um, because that's an important part. And quite often, uh, the problem I think a lot of people face that because there is no furlough, there's no um, help and the living costs are going up and up and up, that people are afraid that, that, well, they have to go and work, right? And sometimes you can't work from home. So it's difficult to find the right balance, but without the support and when people have to, for example, isolate, um, then it's very, very challenging to find that balance. So there is a lot of pressure, there is a lot of stress, and all of that is definitely affecting immunity because one of the things that really affects our immunity is A, we are not exposed to other viruses, so we can't get this natural immunity, but also stress levels and um, and the diet. Yeah? So food has a massive impact, especially the consumption of sugar. And I'm, first of all, a health coach, and I'm a life coach, a mindset coach, I'm a naturopathic chef. So I want to make sure that you maybe look after yourself a little bit more during this time. It seems like our bodies need to get used to that and get used to different temperatures. So what can you do? First of all, look at your stress levels. And if you are in pain, your stress levels will be probably higher. If you worry about money and all of that, um, it's probably not going to go away just for you meditating 10 minutes, right? I think the best thing is to um, to actually reduce the stress. And maybe initially it's going to be big if this is financial worries. And actually look at your situation and evaluate it, yeah? Quite often we have this ostrich symptom when we put our head in the sand and we don't want to know, right? We don't want to know what our bills are, will be, what is um, our money status, the bank things and all of that. But there could be so many things we could do, but we need to face the reality and take some actions. And I know this because I know this from experience. So at the end of pandemic, well, in the end, well, let's say mid 2021, I had to look at different things because my business was up and down, up and down, but my bills and everything else and investments was just not, they were constantly every month. So I had a lot of worries about that. And I had to look, uh, look at the finances, look at the future, look at the present where I am and ask for help. So I reduce my bills. I look at different things to, um, 
to co to help me to cope with everything and that includes um, other things like hypnotherapy I try that um, meditation mindfulness and really having positive statements around money and abundance so that I focus on the positive things rather than only negative and believe me I had a lot of um, deaths I had to deal with because I took a lot of loans to you know invest in myself a career change is not <laughs> well it's not cheap it does cost if you invest in good certification and good you know knowledge and all of that that does cost money so if money is your worry then i would suggest just looking at that start budgeting a little bit more starting find start to find different ways of managing your money and and ask for help i mean help is definitely something that is out there but sometimes we just ask or afraid of um asking right and before money i'm sure the health is your priority so how can you look after yourself a little bit better sometimes it's just taking a break is enough so i'm taking the break from generally social media my business and partially from my work from the 10th of april I need it and I already am making plans. I will be posting, but those will, will be most, mostly scheduled posts and there will be a newsletter coming out and all of that. But generally I'm taking the break. I need to know my boundaries. And if I don't recharge my batteries and I don't spend that time with my friends and family who I'm going to visit, then what's the point, right? We need to have balance in life and tackle one thing at a time. So. I have been suffering from frozen shoulder for some time and I had a steroid injection today and it is painful because I have been in pain for some time uh, and I managed this naturally as possible, no painkillers, nothing, but it just bothers me. The pain is there up and down a little bit and my movements are restricted. So that's my first priority to cure my shoulder and get better with that. So I took step in that direction. Then I want to feel fitter as well. The other thing is I went to yoga and on uh, on Saturday, it was a beautiful place, but I felt like elephant. I have not been doing yoga for some time, mainly because you have a lot of things, you put pressure on your hands. And um, well, when I go to yin yoga, it's, it's okay. But when you go into normal flow, um, yoga, then uh, you put a lot of pressure on your hands. And this is something I'm not yet capable of pro properly doing, but I gave myself a challenge. It was good because it was a charitable event. So I did it, but it wasn't, it wasn't pretty for sure. So the reason I'm saying all these things is I'm not saying that you should take A, B, C and D. You have to look at your lifestyle, reassess what is really a priority for you right now. And especially if you live living with the chronic illness, how can you make it um, how make how can you adjust your lifestyle so that it's just better for you with the boundaries with help from others with um with other things but don't i guess what i would suggest and recommend of course you do what you need to do is but what you think you know needs that priority and sorting out right now what is that pressing thing that will open up um, gates and doors to other things that can help you to thrive and feel better um, because sometimes it really is that one thing at the first time and then you can uh, at the beginning and then you can move on up and up and up so that's my kind of um, encouragement uh, today and for this week coming and I hope that you find it useful I've also recorded my newest episode, post, uh, podcast episode on the beach body because we may look into uh, spring and hotter days and summer and we look in the mirror, we not necessarily may like what we see. So I'm talking and sort of busting a little bit the myth of the beach body. So I'll leave, leave the link here for you to follow if you want to listen to uh, more on that. Um, and see how you can approach the subject if it's something that you're looking for i don't know losing weight but just feeling healthier and fitter for this spring and summer and beyond then maybe that is for you take care have a lovely lovely week and until next time